Let's talk about carbon fiber. Did you know your laptop, your car, your shoes, maybe even your golf clubs could be made out of carbon fiber? Well, there's a new eco-friendly way to recycle carbon fiber. Carbon fiber is lightweight and extremely strong, making it a popular material in modern manufacturing. Over the past 30 years, the process for producing carbon fiber has become more affordable, increasing its demand and applications of use. The strongest carbon fiber can be up to 10 times stronger than steel and eight times stronger than aluminum, while at the same time can be up to five times lighter than both materials. Early on, carbon fiber was widely used in aerospace technologies like airplanes and spacecraft because of its strength and lightweight composition. Carbon fibers were extremely expensive because of the energy it took to produce the space age material, which explains why it was really only used in spacecraft, which were usually subsidized by government contracts and taxpayer money, as opposed to private enterprise. Today, however, it's a very different story. Carbon fibers can be processed into many different types of applications, from woven fabrics to reinforced composite materials to make things like wind turbines, lightweight bicycle frames, and even fishing rods. If it's strong and lightweight, most likely it's made out of carbon fiber, which are bonded together in a crystal-like structure, making it extremely rigid for its size. With the explosion of carbon fiber production all over the world, we are now encountered with the conundrum of what to do with all that leftover unused carbon after production. In steps Carbon Conversions, who has developed a more cost-effective and environmentally friendly way to recycle and repurpose unused carbon fiber. Nearly 20 to 30% of carbon fiber becomes unusable in the manufacturing process throughout the supply chain. So what we do is, is we take waste carbon fiber from any point in the manufacturing supply chain, whether it's automotive, commercial aerospace, uh, recreational, and we will recycle that particular material for other purposes. In short, Carbon Conversions is an advanced composites material supplier. At the heart of our company are multiple processes which enable us to basically reclaim the carbon fiber from those various industries and turn them into a multitude of products that Carbon Conversions uses today. They call it closing the loop, where they are asking companies to give them their waste from production. Carbon Conversions then takes that waste and extracts the unused carbon and sells it back to the same companies for far less than they would pay to procure it in the first place reducing disposal and landfill costs. Carbon Conversions also offers their own carbon fiber products, which are later recycled after production. Nearly all of the carbon fiber was either disposed of one of two ways. It was either incinerated and or it was put into landfills. One of the advantages of using the recycled carbon fiber is, is that the process in recycling carbon fiber, it only produces 5% of the carbon emissions that's used to produce virgin material. So. Uh, this does cut down on the production of emissions as well as diverting the waste material from the landfills. The goal is to reclaim, recycle, and then repurpose, saving on production and disposal costs, while at the same time reducing greenhouse gas emissions from the production of carbon fiber and reducing the amount of carbon that gets dumped into landfills every year. So the carbon fiber manufacturers are producing continuous tow carbon fiber that is used for all of these various applications. As these applications are being developed or the materials are being developed, there's waste being developed along the way. Carbon conversions has the ability to go get that waste. And then when we get that waste, what we like to do is we like to close the loop with that customer who is who's basically creating that waste. Dell Technologies began using carbon fiber to produce their Dell Latitude laptops in 2013 and have partnered with Carbon Conversions as a way to produce more carbon fiber, utilizing a more sustainable process which only uses 5% of the greenhouse emissions it takes to create virgin carbon fiber. In one year between February 2020 and February 2021, Dell increased their procurement of carbon fiber from 670 million pounds to 1.3 million pounds, developing a new non-woven recycled carbon fiber fabric along the way. Back in 2013, 2014, Dell was 
uh, actually already using a form of our reclaimed carbon fiber in some of their latitude chassis products. We actually started experimenting and benchmarking with various types of materials and combinations over a two to three year period using a new reclaimed carbon fiber technology that was in our plant. That technology was taking recycled carbon fiber and putting it into a once commissioned paper making machine to make a non-woven fabric material. Instead of making parts out of it, we worked with Dell directly to put it in the middle of a couple of various other materials and basically created a new process. This material combination now for Dell is much more cost-effective, produced a lighter weight, durable part for the latitude. We spoke with Dell engineer Nick Abatiello about this process. It allowed us to actually make our products thinner and lighter um, without really sacrificing any durability or any performance. You don't want to carry that heavy computer around. And when we really started working with carbon conversion, that was our, our primary objective, is to make the, the products much lighter and much thinner. So we were able to replace plastics that would have made your computer 30 or 40 or 50 grams heavier um, with another material at the same price. When we first started looking at it, we were definitely targeting metal replacement, right? With the injection molded carbon fiber, we were definitely getting rid of trying to replace magnesium. And that's actually the first application um, that we, we commercialized was actually replacing magnesium parts. And then it kind of expanded from there. We, we really recognized the value proposition that the material brought, and then we've kind of expanded it across our entire portfolio. As a result of all this research and development around a circular economy and recycled carbon fiber, Dell was successful in creating lighter, stronger, more durable laptops while making them cost less to produce. And Carbon Conversions was able to invent a whole new way of producing cleaner, greener materials for manufacturing, while at the same time developing new uses for carbon fiber along the way. Creating sustainable, circular economies seems to be a major trend among many of the larger tech manufacturing companies these days. Dell has committed to this trend with its Progress Made Real initiative announced in 2019. In 2019, we announced our 2030 sustainability goals for Progress Made Real. One of the goals when we focus on our products is to use 50% recycle and renewable materials in all of our products across all of Dell technologies. How do we increase the recycled content? How do we uh, look at materials like bioplastics, for example, and incorporate those into our products as well? Dell has made a pledge that for every product a customer purchases, Dell will reuse or recycle an equivalent product. Dell has also promised to be using 100% recycled material for product packaging and has said that more than half of their product content will be made from recycled or renewable materials by the year 2030. Other hardware manufacturers have made similar pledges to consumers. Razer has a plan to produce their products using recycled plastics. Even Apple has a plan to become carbon neutral by 2030 using 100% recycled aluminum and using clean energy to power their manufacturing processes. All this spells relief for the planet and it will slow the onset of climate change. And it's also a sign that consumers are becoming more aware of the challenges associated with producing well-made longer lasting products out of materials that could potentially harm the environment in the long term. If you like this video, then ring that bell and subscribe to CNET's YouTube channel for more videos like this one. And make sure to check out the description for information on Dell's manufacturing process and carbon conversions. And as always, thanks for watching.